Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this new week. Today is Monday and today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. And this reading is for Aries. Welcome Aries. I'm starting with the Tarot of the Divine. This is a wonderful new deck I got from Yoshi. Yoshitani and this deck is inspired by deities, folklore, fairy tales and legends from around the world. And it starts with saying welcome, listener, seeker and speaker. And this card that came out for you, Aries, from the deck is Ten of Coins. And Ten of Coins relates to Panhu. And Panhu is a Yao legend from China, saying that the Ten of Coins, they represent the hard-earned rewards of a difficult venture and the story of Pan Hu celebrates the lineage that benefits from his hard work and this hardship he once endured allows him to appreciate his good fortunes and also his retirement and he is surrounded by his progeny 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 and the card's meaning is inheritance and ancestry and a good pension and settling down and financial stability and that was very short because all the cards have only very short readings from this deck. And the next deck is the Kremolkin's Curious Cats Tarot. And out for you came Three of Pentacles. And the card Three of Pentacles is dedicated to three cats, namely Tigger, Kanga and Egg. Funny names, aren't they? So the story is that the three stray cats, they were starving at one point and then they saw an open window which provided an interesting opportunity to them. One that held the promise of warmth and possibly some food. So the trio got to work and together they managed to move the garbage cans into place, allowing the bravest of the three cats to scope out the situation. Teamwork, milk, teamwork makes the dream work and when the three of pentacles appears in a reading it may just be the solution you need to get the job done. So focus your energy and your resources on production and tackling tasks. What can you do? And what could be delegated? Do you have a schedule in place that is organized and ready to implement? The message is to get focused, create a strategy for success and pull together a team. And when you assign tasks, make sure to draw out the unique talents of each person. 
Crafting a plan and working together on a common goal will help you find success. There is no reason to make a job more complicated than it needs to be and you will find that it will be much more efficient to delegate than to do it alone. The three of pentacles may also indicate that you need to put on your inventor hat. You may need to experiment, see your materials or resources from a different perspective and spend some hours on trial and error before finding the right solution. When this card's energy attributes are positive, then it means that you are a team player. You can accomplish more than expected. And when the energy attributes are negative, you might be depending too heavily on other people and letting your talents get lost in the crowd. The next card is the Shaman Stream Oracle card and out came Stranger and the Stranger relates to the other moving past fear of differences, curiosity and acceptance. The Stranger moves through the world in a shroud of darkness that often elicts fear, rejection, and uncertainty as the danger of the unknown defines its very presence. And yes, there is a veil of separation between you. So look closer and summon the courage to remain open to what you might find. You may be conditioned to look only for what mirrors what is safe and known to you, refusing to entertain any concepts of the other beyond something to fear. In order to broaden your world and your experiences of it, you must refute the illusion that sameness is the only way. Nothing you expect externally matches up with the other and you are challenged by your own inexperience but do not miss this opportunity for learning. Something extraordinary is being offered to you now if you remain curious and teachable. So allow the newness to evolve as you explore your possibilities. This is a departure from your expectations, but a stranger has come to invite you to dance to a new music, a new tempo, a new sensation that will add more dimension to you and what you create as a result. Now is the time to leave room for other points of view, other ways of seeing with humility and grace. This is a defining moment in your life. So take the risk, lift, no, take the risk. Life is like a precious diamond with many facets, not just one. The mystical shaman oracle card that came out is water and the essence of water symbolizes purification, regeneration, birth, revival and cleansing and it signifies an evolutionary shift from your former self to your new self. 
Many myths around the world they speak of a great flood and a new life that is revealed after such a deluge. Water begins without boundaries and then as soon as form has separated itself from the water, it comes under the laws of time and life, thus presenting us with some limitations. The invitation here is that when water arrives, you are invited to watch your emotions. Know they are going to be changeable and do not settle on a conclusion at this time. If you feel joy, feel that fully. And if you feel sad, allow sadness to move through you. Water invites you to see the ebb and the flow of events and so trust that you can ride the wave of opportunity when it arises. There is natural flow here, so go with it. There is a medicine aspect to the card water. This is a time for cleansing unwanted energy and some sticky feelings. Consider this, what water does to the flesh, it does also in sacred ritual to the spirit. The spiritual cleansing, like baptism, is the opportunity to get an instantaneous experience of the timeless, non-ordinary reality in which all true creation takes place. So now is the time that is pregnant with potential for you. So that water represents the potentiality of existence to you. It precedes and sustains and sustains every creation. Emergence from it is manifestation, immersion in it is dissolution of form. Because of this, it symbolizes some regeneration, so make way for this process. You can expect it to be messy, but in the end, it will be worth it. And the last card is the Sacred Forest Oracle card and out, out came again water, namely water spirit. And it relates to manifesting your dreams. In the sparkly water of the forest stream, otters they plunge into the cold waters and then resurface to race to the shore and then plunge back into the water. Small otters, big otters, otters of all sizes join in the fray. The brook seems to be laughing with joy with their antics. Your dreams can come true, is the message here. They can come true, truly come true. However, there are a few steps necessary for this to occur. First, you need to believe that you deserve it. Know that you are worthy because you are. Act as if your dreams had already come true. Move your body like someone whose desires have manifested. Most important, you must also take action in the direction of your dreams. This is not a time to sit around and passively wait for things to turn out. So give deeply and fully of who you are, for the more 
that you give, the more that you will receive. Allow your emotions and your feelings to flow. Do not repress or suppress the truth of your soul. As you focus on gratitude for what you already have, more joy and more abundance will grow in your life. Water energy traditionally represents your feelings and your emotions. As in all things, too much emotion can be depleting and too little emotion can be draining. When your emotion flows as clearly as a mountain stream, then you are at a pivotal time to distinctly state your intentions and your dreams and the forces of the universe will answer and support your dreams coming true. The spirit of water says to you, water flows in cycles and right now you are in a cycle of manifesting your dreams. So do not stop the flow by doubting or hesitating. Allow your emotions the freedom to be expressed. Timing is everything and right now is your time. So Aries, that was your reading. I thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful day today. I wish you a good week ahead. Take care and goodbye.